welcome to my youtube channel if you are new to this channel kindly click the subscription button below and turn on the bell notification so you get to receive alerts whenever i drop my videos by 10 a.m on mondays and 10 a.m on fridays yes today we would like to discuss about how we are usually frustrated when we don't lose weight and we do so much exercises. We are always in the gym, morning, evening, and night, but the weight just seems to look at us, especially above 40. Yes, exercise only contributes 20% to your weight loss, especially above 40. Then your food, your meal, and your drink contributes 80%. This is the exact reason why many people don't lose weight, no matter the exercise they do. Because many people, we have all been told that when you exercise, you lose weight. Yes, you lose some weight, but it doesn't do much. It's just 20%. It helps boost your metabolism and you lose that weight. But if you really want to lose weight, you need to look at what you eat daily. You need to look at what you drink daily. This is the 80%. If you do 80% and you don't do 20, you will still lose the weight and you get a lot of mileage. Now, exercise is good. It helps you keep, keep fit. It helps your mood. It helps to boost your metabolism. It helps, but it is not the main thing when it comes to midlife, weight loss, and freedom from menopausal discomfort. So now, let's get back to your food. Daily, you have to be sure and make sure that what you eat, you eat whole foods like sweet potatoes, plantain, yam, and make sure the processing of this whole food matters too. If you need to fry this food, please use your air fryer. If you don't have air fryer, kindly stick to boiling your food or roasting, steaming, or grilling. This will help you reduce the oil content of this food so it doesn't increase your calorie count daily. So you have to eat whole foods, natural foods. These natural foods, they help your digestive system and you burn this food easily because it contains natural fibers. In this process, you also have to get in healthy fats like avocado, but you need to portion it. When you portion it, it doesn't spike your calorie count and you get in the good fats. You also have to stick with your lots of fruits and vegetables. These fruits and vegetables contain a lot of fiber that will help your digestive system and will help you feel full on less calories. You consume less calorie because you eat a lot of fruits and vegetables and you get full on less calorie. This will help you lose this weight. And when it comes to drink, please stick to water. Water, 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 and more water. Because water is the best drink. It is healthy. It is has zero calories. It has zero, zero calories. So you don't have any issue with water. And try to take this water just before your meal so that you helps you feel full, so you consume less. And try to keep yourself hydrated all day long. There are some times you think you're hungry, but it is water hunger. If you take water, you find out that you don't feel the hunger pang. But most of us think, each time we have that hunger pan, we think it is food. It is not always food. So if you really want to lose weight, focus 80% on what you eat and what you drink daily. And you watch that weight come down. Even if you don't do exercise, you will lose weight. But you need exercise for so many reasons. A healthier you, a better cardiovascular system, it boosts your metabolism, it improves your mood and your healthier, your bone health, posture health. There's a lot you gain from exercise. 
but do not make exercise 80 percent when it comes to weight loss and make food 20. this is what most of us do daily especially those of us that are above 40. we feel that we can jog it we can do the jump jack we can do everything and at the end of the day we'll go back to eating junk food and junk drinks that is why most of us don't lose weight if you really want to lose weight come back to nature come back to the garden where you have fruits vegetable water nuts roots and all that and you find out that you begin to lose that weight that belly fat that is our major issue after 40 you find out that that weight will start growing then when you top it up with exercise boom you see your metabolism will be up your mood is up you feel more vibrant you feel more energetic that is the way to lose weight after 40. focus on your food focus on your food and what you drink the less you take off fizzy drinks, alcohol and alcohol, the better for you. So if you want to lose weight at midlife, eat food, take water, take your fruits and vegetables, take whole foods, take your lean protein, good quality protein like egg, turkey, fish, chicken. Protein helps you keep the hunger down and it helps you go on lower calorie counts daily because you need the calorie to be low and you need to consume less than what you burn to lose weight so you need something that keeps you full most of the day so to lose weight after 40 focus on your food and drink take away fizzy drinks Take a lot of fruits, fiber, vegetables, portion your meals. You need to eat less. And then take a lot of water. Do some exercise because it will help you boost your metabolism too. And then you watch that weight go. If you have not subscribed to this YouTube channel, kindly click the subscription button below. And turn off the bell, turn on the bell notification so that you are aware whenever I drop my videos. And if you really want to go further and lose weight, drop sizes, two, three sizes, 20 kgs and all, kindly look at the Instagram icon on my YouTube channel. Click there and you will learn more. Subscribe to my Instagram handle at solution underscore creator and then sign up for a full proper metabolic plan and watch yourself lose that weight after 40 and beyond thank you once more see you in my next video enjoy your day